So the next technique in Stratton's optimization taxonomy is called the scatter to gather transformation. Now most interesting computations involve a step where many input elements contribute to the computation of an output element. So in this example, the elements labeled blue in the input array are contributing to the blue element in the output array, and the elements labeled green in the input array are contributing to the green in the output array, and so forth. And examples from your homework included blurring the image or computing a histogram. And sometimes, of course, the locations of the input elements that will contribute to a particular output element aren't known ahead of time, like in the histogram example. Now we've talked about the difference between scatter and gather. In scatter, the threads are assigned to the input elements, and each one is deciding where it needs to write. In gather, the threads are assigned to the output elements, and each one decides where it needs to go read from. So here's a quick quiz, which should be pure review. Which code snippet represents a gather, and which one will run more efficiently? Here's code snippet 1, and here's code snippet 2. In each of these cases, you can assume that out and in are arrays of floating point numbers, and that i uh, represents the thread index.